guys happy friday we are all loaded in the car this morning um it's nine o'clock in the morning and we are headed to micah's school i'll let you guys more de know more details in a little bit but we are headed out now and Jamal has these random nosebleeds. They don't hurt, but his nose just starts bleeding. I think because it's super dry. <laughs> That's what's happening right now. Say like good morning. Oh. And there's Micah. Say good morning. Good morning. And subscribe and smash the like button and watch all these birds from me playing. Lucky you. So we went to IHOP. We were planning to go to IHOP. Um, and the reason I didn't say it in the previous clip is because we were trying to trick Micah into believing that he had school today. So we were like, oh, let's go. We got to go to school. We got to go to school. But really, we we're going to take him to breakfast. But those plans are no longer happening. So when we got to IHOP, there was... Um, there was no dine-in, it was just takeout only. So we sat here for like 30 minutes trying to figure out should we order it? And then Jamal was trying to use like a coupon and it didn't work. And then he's like, you know what, forget it. And then he's like, you know what, never mind, I want it. So we're like going back and forth. But anyway, now we are at this place that I just discovered recently. It's called Live Fresh Cold Press Juice and Smoothie Bar. And they have, um, smoothies cold pressed juices immunity shots and they also have acai bowls so i don't know if you guys ever had one i've never had one but i heard they are filled with so much nutrients fruits um, um you can get some with like the chia seeds which are so so good for you so they are higher in carbs but they're all good carbs and um i'm gonna have one this morning because i've never i've never tried it so i'm gonna go ahead and order and then Jamal and I were debating what it was called. It spelled like Akai, and I've heard people say Akai, but I know that's not the right way. I know it was like Acai or Acai Bowl. So we're just gonna call it Acai Bowl. I will be back. But you guys can talk to my family. Pineapple, mango, banana. Hey, you see me. Hello. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I, I want that one. Triple. Oh. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. This is Big Miz. It's Big Miz and Mike. We just over here in the car. By ourselves. By ourselves. We was tricking Micah because it's Friday and we said, Mike, we gotta hurry up. You have school, so we had to hurry up and get our clothes on. That's not funny. That's not funny. Yes, it was. Oh. Oh, what? Look at that truck right there. All right, you guys, so this is the acai bowl that I got, and oh, it looks so good. And yes, guys, I know this is filled with carbs, but I don't care, it's okay. These are all good carbs. Um, so this bowl is called the All American Bowl. It has coconut water, acai base, strawberry. I replaced the blueberries with bananas. There's chia seeds, granola, and then cashew butter and honey. And it's so cute. This is a little spoon that they gave me. But this is gonna be my first time having an acai bowl. And I'm excited for the chia seeds. <laughs> I know I probably won't taste them, but the, just having them is exciting because they're so, so good for you. And then that, whoops. And then I also got three fresh pressed cold juices. Um, here, I'm gonna shake them up. This one is called Kale Yeah, and this one is keto friendly. This one has uh, spinach, romaine lettuce, cucumber, lemon, parsley, cilantro, and Himalayan salt. So I'm gonna try to drink at least three of these a week, um, just to, you know, gives you more boost of energy. It just your helps with metabolism, digestion. So I got that, and then I got this one. This one's called the Green Goddess. This has pineapple, green apple, mint, and lemon. Um, oh, and then they both have kale in them. I think that's like the main um, vegetable that they have. And then this one is called Island Glow. This one has lemon, orange, pineapple, ginger, and coconut water. So I am so excited, you guys. I heard that, you know, cold pressed juices are so good for you, so good for digestion, keeps you hydrated, it helps with immunity. So 
I am excited. Right, guys, so let's try it together. Do you want to try some, babe? It's an yeah. acai bowl. Let me try it first. Wow. Mm. It tastes so fresh and just so like, I don't even know, like just fresh. Mm. It's chunky. That's good. It's chunky. Dude. Ooh, look at all the chia seeds. Mmm. That was good. That was chunky. Here, I'm gonna that, give you the banana. That is chunky. It's just nice and refreshing. Mm. And That's the word. Yeah, Re and, and chunky too. Chunky, yeah. yeah. It's just very refreshing. It's good. Yeah, it is. Wow. So good. Mmm. Mmm. I am now, I'm still gonna do low carb. I'm not gonna do so much of keto because when you're doing keto, you're focusing on higher fats and I don't wanna consume higher fats. So I wouldn't say it's keto. I wanna try to incorporate um, more wholesome foods, more whole foods, more nutrient dense foods, but still, you know, still being mindful and still trying to keep it low carb. Um, and still, I still don't want to like, you know, have sugar or anything, but like the good carbs is, the good carbs is, is good. I want to, you know, start consuming good carbs, bananas, sweet potatoes, you know, just more complex carbs, beans and things like that. But so yeah, so that's what I'm gradually trying to do is just trying to just consume more whole foods and just nutrient dense foods so but still keeping it low carb because i just i love low carb i love doing low carb i love the way it makes me feel so um yeah anyways um i'm gonna give this to jamal whatever is left of it guys it's 11 30 and i have a robe on because it was snowing yesterday on april 1st and it was snowing this morning as well so my office is extremely cold but anyway I'm gonna have my daily electrolytes from Perfect Keto. This is in the watermelon flavor. You guys see me drink this in almost every video. I love, love, love these daily electrolytes. It really gives me um, the energy that I am lacking. <laughs> and uh, even though I had that um, acai bowl this morning, I still am feeling extremely tired so I'm just gonna do a scoop of that and I'm actually running out you guys so I'm gonna have to get more I don't know what flavor I want to try next but there are so many different types of flavors I'm using a ball of water because our filtered water isn't filled up yeah but I'm gonna add some ice look how pretty that looks I wonder if I like blend it up and then like a sort of like a frappuccino. Well, no, it doesn't have coffee, but like a blended electrolyte drink with ice. I think that would be really cool, but let me add some ice. So we don't have um, an ice maker. So I buy a bag of ice from Chick-fil-A. One, because I love their ice. The way it's shaped, it just is so much better. And two, it's only a dollar and like 40 cents for a bag of ice. So this will usually last me a week. So I'm spending like, what, five, five, six dollars a month on ice, which I am not mad at. So Jamal went to Sam's yesterday, you guys, because I asked him to get me some fruit. I've just been like, on this like fruit kick and I just want all the fruits so I asked him to go to Sam's and he got me lots and lots of fruit but he also got another pack of steak like we just had steak like four days ago so that's probably what we're having tonight again and um, after I eat this though like the steak tonight I am probably not gonna have red meat for a while um, just because I feel like I've just been having so much of it so I'm just gonna like take a break 
from red meat and um, yeah, but yeah, I think we're having steak for dinner tonight. Mm. Yeah, I'll see you guys at lunch. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, <laughs> Kim is just chopping up some uh, chicken salad for me. We got this from Sam's. I got it from Sam's Club, so I said, let me get some of this, but the, the meat is a little bit too big, too thick. So, thanks to Kim, she's chopping it for me. And I had crackers, but Micah took them. For lunch, we're having um, rotisserie chicken salad. So this is from Sam's, it's chicken salad, but they use the rotisserie chicken. So I love this stuff. It does come pretty thick, which is why you guys just saw me chopping it up because we like it sort of more thin like this. But Micah's having some with crackers. Daddy is too. And I'm gonna have mine with two pieces of this sweet oat solo bread. I'm gonna toast it, and maybe I'll add some romaine lettuce too. Mm. So this is what we're having for lunch. If you guys don't want to eat solo bread or you guys don't have solo bread, having huge romaine lettuce is also a really good alternative um, when you're eating chicken salad. You can just literally put it right in here and just eat it. But since I do have solo bread, I am not gonna do it that way. But I've done it that way before. So I'm not gonna make a sandwich. I'm gonna make like two little things. I'll show you guys. So I'm just gonna put that there. And then I'm gonna put that there. I put fresh black pepper on top, guys. Oh my gosh, that's so freaking good. Uh oh. So then I'm gonna just top this with chicken salad. And then I'm also gonna add more fresh black pepper. It's so funny, I just went on my Instagram and my friend Heather on Instagram was eating the same exact thing with pork rinds. And she had the, um, I think it's called the Annie Millie bread. It's a keto bread. But here is lunch today, guys. Chicken salad from Sam's, 10 out of 10. I love their chicken salad. If you have never tried it, you guys have to try it. It's so, so good. And the reason I'm not making it like into a sandwich with like two breads um, together is because I want the most of this chicken salad. So that's why I just have it like this, but. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's so good. <laughs> the pepper. Oh, so good guys. Mm. You guys usually don't see me with my hair up because I don't like my hair up, but when I'm working out, I do put it up. But we're gonna have this um, green goddess drink here. This one has kale, pineapple, green apple, mint, and lemon. So let's try it together. I don't know. I'm expecting the worst, but okay, let's try it. Wow, it's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's actually pretty good. <sighs> mm. It's very like sour because of all of the, the fruits. I can taste the lemon, I can taste everything. Hmm, it's actually really good. I like this one, Green Goddess. Babe, you have to try this. This is so good. This one has kale, pineapple, green apple, mint, and lemon. And it's freshly pressed in Homestead PA. It helps with your heart, digestion, and bone health. So this is like if I had a juicer and I used all of these, this is what it would taste like. It's really good. Isn't it good? Yeah. <laughs> right? Remember that? It's like lemon. Yeah, you can really taste the sourness. They have sales. Really Every Wednesday and Friday, they're $2 off. 
um, from four to seven. So I'm gonna go and get some, probably only drink like, what, three mm. a week. Okay. Oh. That is good. <laughs> it is good. Mm. I have two other ones in the refrigerator if you want it. Or you want to just That's taste it. Cup? No, they're all different. I wanted to try them out. Yeah. It is five o'clock. Hopefully Jamal's going to start dinner soon. <laughs> yeah, aren't you making steak? You bought steak yesterday. Ooh. I really want to go to the store and buy a new bed set for our bedroom. But... I really don't feel, I'm so tired, you guys. I took a nap today. I'm just, I'm just tired. I'm so tired. All right, Jamal's cooking dinner tonight. He has um, the salt and pepper and he's just seasoning the steak. Are you saving this for another day? Yeah. Okay. It's for the mom. Okay. I have steak here, um, my vegetable mix, and then I'm just gonna throw in a handful of salad. Maybe a little more. And I'm gonna use this Olive Garden Italian dressing for my salad. All right, you guys, this is my dinner. This is a huge dinner plate. So yes, it is filled up. And yes, we just had steak like four days ago and I just have been having so much red meat lately. I promised myself that after I have this, I am going on like a red meat strike and I'm not gonna eat red meat for like a month. So this is the last steak I will have for a while just because I've been having so much of it, but salad veggies and steak is my dinner all right you guys i am gonna end this video here i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i really didn't count my carbs today i was kind of just being mindful still trying to keep it low carb but like i said in the beginning of the video i am just feeling a lot better when i'm eating more whole foods and less processed foods and unfortunately when you are doing keto you really focus on higher fats and you tend to go for processed foods when they are labeled keto friendly low carb five grams of net carbs so i will definitely explain in a video down the road on why i am doing you know the things that i'm doing now as far as food but i am just feeling a lot better when i'm eating more whole foods versus processed foods and um if that means i have to eat good carbs to consume more whole foods rather than doing keto and eating processed foods that are keto friendly then i am gonna do that but i hope you guys understand um you know, I am, the goal is to still lose weight. I'm just sort of doing it in a different way. But I, again, will talk about that with you guys in a different video in a few weeks and just kind of explain to you guys what's going on. But I'm still doing low carb. I'm never gonna stop low carb. Low carb, it makes me feel great, but just, just eating more whole foods and just more nutrient dense food is just, it's just making me feel so much better. Um, mentally and physically so anyways I hope you guys have a happy Easter I hope you guys enjoy your weekend if you're gathering with your families I am gathering with my family and I may record a weekend vlog for you guys but happy Easter to you guys and I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video bye